Good afternoon everyone. This is the second ticket requirement I am requiring you so that you will be able to join our summative examinations or long quizzes this fourth grading. I intend to use this as part of, of my requirement so that you together with your parents will have an idea on what would be the target grade that you need to get for the fourth grading in order to uh, capture a final grade that you would want for Math 7. Again, this will be shared to you in our classroom, but I'm going to uh, give here a demonstration or a short discussion on how it is done so that uh, you could accomplish this before our long quiz one next week. So this form will allow us to compute the fourth grading grade that you need to achieve this fourth grading so that you will get your intended final grade in Math 7. This is done at this time since the grades of the first, second, and third gradings are already in. Before we start our course this school year, I was able to ask you about what was your target final grade in the said subject. You were able to respond different grades. And right now, we need to analyze whether those target grades that you were able to mention are still possible. So I have made here a step-by-step -step process and an example at the bottom. So how do we do this? Number one, you decide on your f target final grade. That should be greater than or equal to 75 since you would really want to get a final grade that is passing. Or uh, yeah, a passing final grade. So if you would like to have a final grade of 89, please bear that in mind. If you would like to get a final grade of 80, please bear that in mind. If you would like to get a final grade of 95, please bear that in mind because we are going to use that in our computation. As shared at the bottom, you may just target 75 if you only want to pass the subject. But since we would really like to get a, a, a final grade that is exemplary, you could target any grade which is 80 or higher. Next, we need to multiply the target final grade that we have decided by 4. Why 4? Because there are four grading periods. In computing the target fourth grading grade, we need to understand that the target final grade that we have in mind is actually the average for all fourth gradings. Well, then again, we don't have the fourth grading grade yet, but that's the goal for this um, activity. So we're going to multiply it by four. Since the ideal response is that if we would like to get a final grade of 89, the ideal is we need to get 89 or higher per grading. Next, we need to subtract the first, second, and third grading grades from the product resulted in step number two. These grades are already available if, uh, to your advisors, but if you have no idea on what are they, you may always request me and message me. I could give it to you. The result when subtracting uh, the sum of the first three grading grades to the result in step 2 is the target grade that you need to get this fourth grading in order for you to get the target final grade. Please not be confused about two target grades. The target fourth grading grade is our task for this material. The target final grade is the grade that you are deciding in the process. By the way, if you are to ask me, this process uses the concept of averaging or in statistical terminology, mean. This is the reverse operation on getting the mean. The fa target final grade is actually the mean and you are trying to measure the one of the uh, observations that we're able to get that mean given the other three. So this is the reverse operation of that concept. There is a note here in step number five that if ever the result after such process is higher than 100, then the target final grade you are thinking of is not anymore possible. Why is it not anymore possible? Is because your grades from first to third grading grade is might be or they might be too low for that target final grade that you would like to have they should mean you need to lower your target final grade so in case if say for example my target final grade is 89 and i'm going to do the process 
if the result is 101 above, that would mean I can no longer get 89 as my final grade. Hence, I need to lower it. I will try 88 or 85 if it's possible. So you have here examples. I have here four examples for you to study. Example 1. If student A got 71, 77, and 73 in the first grading, three grading periods, what should be his or her fourth grading grade to get the final grade of 81? In short, the target final grade of student A here is 81. He or she would like to get 81 as his or her final grade in Math 7 using the grades that he or she already achieved in the first three grading periods. So we're going to use the process here. The target final grade is 81. Step 2, multiply that by 4. So 81 times 4 is 324. After that, we need to subtract the first three grading grades. 71 for first grading, minus 77, for second grading and minus 73 for the third grading. Doing this process, the result is 103. 103 is not anywhere possible for a target fourth grading grade. That would mean that the, the final grade of 81 is not anymore achievable. Hence, student A needs to lower down his or her target final grade in order for him or her to get a possible fourth grading grade. Let us try example number two. Same student, but he or she just want to get a final grade that is 75 or a passing grade for math 7. So that 75 is to be multiplied by 4, so 300. Subtracting 71 for the first grading, 77 for the second grading, 73 for the third grading. The result is now 79. Now, is 79 a possible grade for the fourth grading? The answer is yes. This would mean that student A will need to get 79 or even higher in the fourth grading. And if he or she does... She, he or she will pass math 7 for he or she will get a final grade of 75 or higher. If it seems too possible for 79, you could always change the target grade to let's say, I would like to get a target grade of 80. So 80 times 4 is 320. Let us try subtracting 71. So we have 320 minus 71 minus 77 minus 73. He or she needs to get 99 for him or her to get the final grade that he or she would like to have for Math 7 be 80. Now, is 99 possible? The answer is yes. Even 100 is possible. You just need to make sure that all of your activities and requirements are exemplary for you to be able to get this get this grade example three let's say student b got 87 90 and 88 in the first three grading periods what should be his or her grade to get a target final grade of 84. so from these grades he or she or student b targets an even lower final grade of 84. And with that, 84 multiplied by 4 is 336, subtracting all the first three grading grades, 87, 90, 88, the result is 71. And 71 is a possible fourth grading grade. This would mean with 71, student B will get a final grade of 84. However, I would like to give a caution to you. Some of you might say, ah, if this is my situation, even if I will not study, even if I will not do my best, even if I will just get 71 for the fourth grading, I will still get 84. Yes, it's true. But the point of sharing this is that I'm still advising you to get a better fourth grading grade. 
Because if you would like to get a better fourth grading grade, this fi target final grade could also be better. Okay? That would mean it's not also advisable that you just need to be, to be relaxed. You need to exert, exert more effort and perform well so that you could get an even better grade than 84. Now, for the last example, student C got 68, 70, and 73 in the first three grading periods. What should be her, her, his fourth grading grade to get a passing rate of 75? This example is just to show you that even if the student got three failing grades for the first three grading periods, he or she can still get a passable passing grade in Math 7. In this case, we need to target 75 because we would like the students to pass. Times 4 is 300. And then we need to subtract the first three grading grades. 68, 70, 73, and it's 89. Even if it's 89 is too big as compared to the first three grading grades, it's still possible. After all, the grades per grading are independent to one another. If the student will just do his or her part for the fourth grading and realize those things that he or she have not done for the first three gradings and do it right now, he or she can still pass the subject. These are the examples for this material. Now let us go to our sample computation. Same example, I am computing my grade. That would mean I'm only going to focus on my grade I have here four different scenarios that I would like you to do. Now, say for example, I would like to get a grade of 85 for my target grade, but my first three grading grades are 82, example only, 83, and let's say 79. What should be the fourth grading grade that I need to get in order for me to get a final grade in Math 7, which is 85. So in order for us to do this, again, 85 times 4. That's 340. And then, slowly subtract the grading, grades that I got in the previous three grading. Yeah, subtracting 82, subtracting 83, and subtracting 79. I need to get a grade of 96 for the fourth grading in order for me to get 85 as my final grade. Is it possible? The answer is yes. It is possible. Now, if I see it like it's too impossible for me, sir, I, don't, I know my capacity. So I need to change my final grade here. Let's say 80. And then... I need to compute my fourth grading grade here. Take note that you are computing your grade, or in this case, I am computing my grade. This would mean my first grading, second grading, and third grading grades are the same. Do not change here. Say I have here, you will say my first grading grade is now changed to 85. I have here 87, and I have not here 90. Again, you're computing your own grade. That would mean whatever grade you use here are your original grades. Those are the grades that you need also to use here. This would mean under the blue columns, these are true to even the next two computation, computations. The, the changes here are for these columns here and for the last two columns here. So let's go to 80. You have 320 minus 80, 82, minus 83, minus 79. So I need to get 76 as my target for grading. I need to do something for me to get 76. And it's still possible. That would mean 76 is good for me to get 80 as my final grade. Okay. That's it for the second step. Now, what if I would like to have a grade that is 90? 
So same grades for the first three gradings. That's 360. 360. Sorry. Let me copy this. So 360. That's 360. And I will subtract all of this. 360 minus 82 minus 83 minus 79. I need to get 116 as my grade. However, 116 is no longer possible. Let me copy this X here. Why? Because no matter what will I do, 116 as a grade is not possible for any grading. This would mean I need to lower this down to something which is possible. So the last part here needs to be accomplished as well. Once you have accomplished this page, I would like you to submit this and you sign this one together with your parent so that I would know that your parents are also aware of the grades you need to get. Again, for the last time, no need to change the columns blue here. They must be the same out, and they are available to your advisors. You may contact me for this. So this is our task that I am also requiring you for you to join the summative exams this grading. Again, to answer that because I need you and your parents to acknowledge the grade that you need to get for the fourth grading for you to get a final grade that you are planning to before any recorded sessions or graded sessions in our subject. The worksheets and reflection papers are graded, but you could still do well in other tasks. And as a matter of fact, the summit examination scheduled next week is one of the major activity in the fourth grading. That's it for this video, and hopefully you will submit them as early as possible. Goodbye, everyone.